Welcome to other levels. Today we will create together this cargo analytics dashboard with a beautiful blue and white theme. This dashboard contains many analyses of two types of cargo, oils and grains. Total tonnage and analysis for each month. Total shipments and the monthly shipments. Analysis of cargo materials and percentage of each. Total cargo per year. The total number of purchases and the top 5 customers plus the percentage of each. Top 5 importing countries for each type of material. The status of the navigational voyages of 3 ships, but it's not connected to the slicers. The total number of vessel and its average number of hours waiting at the ports. Finally, an analysis of the total tons of all materials, whether for oils or grains. These are the color codes used in the design and the font type is Arial. You can get our templates and make full modifications to them by visiting our online store, other-levels.com. Let's start by explaining the contents of the database. The years and months. Port's name. Charterer's name. Shipment destinations. Arrival and sailing dates. The number of waiting days in the ports. Names of vessels and type of cargo. 10 types of grains. 8 types of oils. Finally, the sum of oils and grains tonnages, using sum formula. A table containing the data on the status of the navigational voyages for three ships. But they are not linked to the slicers as I said. And they will be fixed and updated manually. We'll add a sheet tab to create the dashboard. Remove the grid lines and headings. The design has two backgrounds. We'll start with the first background. We will design it with gradient colors, so we can not only change the colors of the cells and we will insert a rectangle instead for ease of creation. Make sure that the rectangle is the exact size of the background. Now we insert a round same side corner rectangle shape to design the second background. The colors and the general design should match the topic of the dashboard, which is marine trade, so we will add a design of sea waves in the lower left of the background using a double wave shape.
Adding transparency to the colors will give a beautiful mixing of colors. We will hide the bottom part with a white rectangle. The design of the waves will be outstanding when adding a dark blue color in the slicers part. It will be appearing the waves and the first background as a one part. And the second background will put it in the front to separate from them, finally giving us a great design. Duplicate the wave to the right side as if the wave is in the entire background. With this, we have finished designing the background and we will first start adding the main title to the dashboard. We will insert a white rounded rectangle as the background for the first line chart. In this part, we want to show the total tonnages shipped. We will insert a pivot table. As you can see in the database table that the total tons of oils are separate from the total tons of grains. To calculate their sum in the pivot table, we'll use the calculated field. We have to add a title to the calculated field. Then choose total oils and click on insert field. Add the plus sign then choose total grains, then OK. Thus, you get a pivot table field that contains the required equation. Add some adjustments to the pivot table.
We will make another pivot table for total tons during months of the year. We don't need the grand total and now we're going to insert a line chart. Cut the chart and paste it into the dashboard. Delete the title, the legend, and the vertical ox. Watch carefully to the line chart formats. The numbers are big, so the pest position for the data label at the top of the line. Copy the previous text box instead of inserting another one again and reformatting it. to reflect the total tonnages from the pivot table to this text box. Write equal sign in the formula bar, then go to the pivot table sheet and select the value from the pivot table. As you can see, we cannot connect it directly from the pivot table. So we will write in the formula bar the cell number manually. The fastest way is choosing the next cell down below the targeted value, then change the cell number from the formula bar. Great, now we will move to the next part which is the analytics for total shipments. It's similar to the previous one. To arrange the pivot tables, we will create them next to each other and we will separate them by add a vertical line in between. We will use the same formats used in the previous chart. So instead of wasting time repeating the same steps, we will save this format as a template. Let's call it, line. Then go to design menu, and change the chart type. A go to the templates list, choose the template you saved.
Next, the analysis of cargo materials and percentage of each. Let's change the sheet tab's color. The first pivot table will show the total shipments of oil and grains. Regarding the percentage, if we add it as part of the pivot table, the donut chart will be inconsistent. So, I will extract the percentages using equations outside the pivot table. The equation is to divide the total of each type by the total. Every part should be different and special. We will use the donut chart and remove the title and the legend. The chart is on the left side and the total will be right. and the percentage in down below the total in smaller font. Insert circle to use it as a legend. Copy everything, pull them to the top. Now we want total tons for both oils and grains. Similar as what was done before.
Save the chart as a template to save your time. Adjust and move all shapes and make sure that the overall appearance of the dashboard is in its best form. The last part at the top right of the dashboard will be an analysis of the annual cargo tonnage. The pivot chart contains the years and the total tons. I will use a radar chart, as the place is small, and the radar is enough to show the most years of export of materials. Next, Top 5 Charterers Database contains a long list of charterers. 
Therefore, we will arrange the list from largest to smallest. Then we keep the first five charterers next to the pivot table. By typing equals, then selecting the cell, then enter. Thus, the list will maintain the order from largest to smallest, even with the slicer changes. Percentage of the charterers getting the materials. By dividing the total tonnage of the charterers by the total of all tonnages. Choose the charterer cells and the value cells. Then insert a bar chart. Delete what you don't want. The chart sorting appears from smallest to largest, but it is better to appear reverse. So go to the Format Ox menu, then choose Categorize in Reverse Order. We will put the percentages above each charterer name. Use the Distribute Vertically option to maintain the correct distances between the text boxes. So great! Now we have to show the number of total charterers. To find the total number of charterers, use the count of formula and then select the whole list except for the final total. Now we reach to the analysis that shows the top 5 countries importing oils and the top 5 countries importing grains through this shipping company. The first pivot table will contain the names of the destinations with total tons of grains. Using the same steps as above to find the top five. As we said, by arranging the tons from largest to smallest. Then put it next to the pivot table.
and then find the percentage compared to the rest of the countries. As for the second pivot table, it will contain the names of the destinations with a total of tons of oils, while repeating the same previous steps. I prefer to show it without a chart, and I will show the map only in this analysis. Copy them all, they are the same as the oils part. Next add the map. In this map I want to show the total of the two materials together. I will make the highest countries importing grains below the highest countries importing oils in one table. Then insert the map. As you can see that the map is small, and it will be useless unless it is enlarged. So we're going to do a trick to show it perfectly. As you can see that all shipments are destined for the continent of Africa, Europe, Asia and Russia, so we will highlight this part of the world map and hide the rest in the following way. Insert a rounded rectangle shape and I'll use it as a frame for the map. Don't fill the shape with colors. Make the line wide to 30. Then choose the same background color for it. It is preferable to set the colors of the map before hiding the useless parts. 
I will make the background gradient in blue colors and countries in dark blue and cherry red. Now we can insert four rectangles containing the same background color on all sides that need to be hidden. Group them all and send them back. Excellent! Now we will add to the map the total number of countries which shipments were sent to by the company. We will need four text boxes, three of them will contain unchanging texts. And the fourth text box will change dynamically with the slicers. As you can see, the map has become more clear and useful in analysis. Maps always add beauty to the dashboards. The next part is simple, as it contains text boxes linked to the cells in this small table. But with a distinctive and beautiful design for all status of the navigational voyages. Let's start designing the status, on way. First, I will show the name of the shipping vessel. Then the type of cargo shipped. Third, the position in navigation.
Then add the shipping country and destination, plus sailing and arrival dates. Now we want to add an arrow to symbolize the status of the navigational voyage path. Where green is the appropriate color with on-way status. Copy them all and paste twice, it's the same on way status.
Next, the total number of vessels. List the vessel's names then use the count of formula to find the total number. The average of ships waiting time in ports. First, the total waiting days. We find it by minus arrival date from sailing date. Now we'll insert all the waiting days and then use the average formula. Finally, an analysis of the total tons of all materials, whether for oils or grains. Each type of grains and oils in the database is in a separate column, not in rows. Thus, when inserting a column chart will be unordered. Therefore, we will switch the rows and columns from the design menu.
But as you see, the materials names contain a sum of sentence. You will need to delete this sentence and replace it with a space. Then add the total tons of oils and grains in top right. Now insert list the slicers, and to know how to modify the slicers, please watch the video above. From slicer settings, choose hide items with no data and hide headers. Add the header for each slicers. The most important part is the protecting dashboard. Choose all shapes and elements using Ctrl plus A. Then Ctrl plus 1 to open the format menu. Then select lock. Then select the slicer. Then go to the format menu and uncheck the lock option. Now protect the sheet and you will find that you can use only the slicer and all the data and shapes of the dashboard are protected. I hope you learned something useful today. Thank you and see you in the next video.